When you hear someone say life can change in the blink of an eye, you might roll your eyes. But it's true, and no one knows that better than my next guest. 20 years ago tomorrow, Travis Roy was just 11 seconds into his first shift with the BU hockey team when tragedy struck. Travis hit the boards and suffered an injury, which left him paralyzed from the neck down. In the two decades since, Travis has done much to help others with spinal cord injuries. Tomorrow night, Boston University will host a night for Travis Roy, honoring the man and his foundation. Travis Roy joins me. It's really good to meet you, Travis. It's great to meet you as well. So 20 years ago, tomorrow, everybody knew your name. Were you worried? Was there a point where you said, they know me now, people are supportive now, but everybody's going to forget me? Absolutely. I mean, I, I, I uh, figured it was a you know a news story for the week, maybe maybe a couple weeks, and and, and really at the time I was I was a bit uh, uh, busy in the hosp hospital down in the, in the ICU, but uh, I can't believe 20 years later that that we're, we're there's more going on now than than ever. How, do, how long did it take you to decide this foundation is what I want to do? You've raised about six million bucks, half to equipment, half to research. How long before you said this is the thing I want to do? I, I don't know that it was ever a decision that where I, where I said this is it. I, I just knew that I wanted to give back. I knew that it was a, a part of what I was going to do with my life. Um, but over the years, I, I realized that um, the, the momentum was still there, that the energy was still there, that people were still willing to, to support me and and, and really support the Travis Roy Foundation. So it's, um, it's, it's been a surprise, but it's, um, uh, it, it, it's been quite a ride. I mean, we're doing hey, good we things. we made progress in the 20 years treating injuries like yours? If, this, if your injury had happened tomorrow rather than 20 years ago tomorrow, would, we, would you be in better shape prospectively than you are or no? Same deal? Thera therapy is the exact same therapy. Really? Which is, which is the biggest frustration and, and the... And they're really the biggest disappointment over the last 20 years now. Now, don't get me wrong. There, there are therapies, there are treatments there's, that are finally moving out of the lab to clinical trials. But it has not moved fast enough. We got a little sidetracked with, uh, with a little couple wars and uh, some politics on stem cell. And, uh, you mean in terms uh, of federal funding and those kind of things? Exactly. I mean, the NIH budget got, got slammed. And, and really, that's where the majority of the funding comes from uh, for research. So uh, was it a week or so ago you became a Bruin for a day? Uh, I did. Uh, what, was that, what was that like? I saw a video. How know, great was that? It was one of those bittersweet moments. Uh, the, the Bruins have been great. The Jacobs family are fantastic people. Uh, the, the best part was just rolling out onto the ice to, to drop the puck. And, and, and really, I've, I've been recognized a few times uh, at the Garden. And, uh, but that was special. And it was... Uh, you know, I'd always dreamed of playing uh, in the NHL, signing a contract. Not, not the quite, quite the way I dreamed of it, but, uh, but uh, a very special moment nonetheless. Do you ever feel sorry for yourself? You know, I never met you until tonight, and I have seen images of you year after year after year, and I said, I can, there's no way that I would have ever the strength that he appears to have. You don't ever I, feel sorry for I, yourself? I, I would have said the same thing before my injury. Um, but I, I, I do, I, I, I truly believe we all have an inner spirit that's capable of doing things we never imagined, and I... And I, um, I, I sure don't feel bad for myself. And in fact, I am. Uh, I realize how fortunate I am, uh, in so many different ways. You know, you were twenty. You were twenty, as if I'm telling you something. When you visit a twenty-year-old kid who suffered what you had suffered, my guess is that kid, or more often than not, is feeling sorry for him or herself. What are the first words you say to a young man or woman who has gone through what you went through? Uh, I'm sorry you joined the club. Uh -huh. It's. Uh, it, 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 it's tough. I, and, and going back to your point, I mean, the, 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 the fact that there is no different therapy today is, is frustrating. Um, but um, I, I don't say a lot. It's, it's a pretty sensitive time early on after an injury. You've got to, there, there's, there's a time to, to acknowledge the loss and the sadness. And, um, and, and, you, and you just, you, you can't change it. But if I can just go in and, and show that, um, I'm doing all right. I'm, I'm uh, living a life, a productive life. Um, they just need to see that that um, that that there is life beyond a spinal. Why do you do that? Why do you visit that young man? Uh, I, woman? Why do you do it? I know how critical it is, and, and oftentimes early on, it's more for the family. Um, it's more for the family to realize that um, things are going to be okay. Uh, when you're the one in the wheelchair, you just have. To, when you're the one in the hospital bed and the injury, um, you, you really don't know. Uh, other repercussions, especially if you're young, um, but the, the families know, the parents know um, that 
just how much it's going to change their lives. So tomorrow, speaking of change, like tomorrow night's a huge night for you. You're pretty it's going to be a fun night. We 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 set an ambitious goal to raise a million dollars. I'm I'm much more comfortable with the grassroots fundraisers, with it asking for twenty or fifty or hundred dollars. Um, we're we're asking for a little bit more of people uh, with this event. The the corporate support in the city has been fantastic. The support from our sports teams, the the Red Sox, the Bruins, the Celtics, uh, the Patriots has been awesome. Um, but we uh, there, there's still room for donations and. Uh, but but it's uh, it's it's, it's going to be a nice night. Well, you're changing the world, Travis. It's a pleasure to meet you, and I hope you keep on doing Thanks it. Thanks so much.